Outside with 650 to go is Triple Express. The Temptress down towards the rail is next. And the last couple take it like a man back there with Montoya's. And you could throw a diaper over this field and cover them quite easily. They've jammed up on the point of the home corner. Amber's Duke taken on and headed by Stoicism. Woodman's Keep keeps coming. And down the outside, letting rip is Ura. And at the 300, Ura swept up, went to the lead. Down the outside, take it like a man runs on. Also behind those then came Midnight Drama, but Take It Like a Man took off at the 100 and Take It Like a Man had shot away. Triple Express ran to second from Midnight Drama, but Take It Like a Man drawing right away. Take It Like a Man, much too good, won it comfortably and gave Stake the last two legs of the quaddy, uh, has won comfortably here. Triple Express running on to grab second, Midnight Drama third. Over on the fence then, Stoicism in company there as they'd pulled up uh, behind them. Ura, who stopped in its tracks after hitting the lead. Uh, also right behind them there, pulling up behind them at the head of the others was the Temptress. It finished a fair way back in the field. Miss Rumor Mill. Uh, Montoya's is back there with Woodman's Keep. Gee, they're coming home at very long intervals. Something big. And there's a group of them here at the uh, barrier stalls that pulled up. No sooner had they got to the turn out of the straight. King of Hollywood, run for a reason. Amber's Duke. And also in there is Saxon Bell, but not in any particular order. They were a furlong away. Take it like a man has got the money. 18s into 13, so a pretty good result for Diamond Dan Stake in the last couple of races on the card. They had something on that previous winner in race seven at uh, juicy odds in some of the, the corporates. $101 bet in some sections, and uh, this is 18s in. And it just took off and absolutely destroyed them. Take it like a man. Four play gelding from Image of Reality for trainer Nick Cox. Race by Nick and also Dick Vincent. Clayton Arnold. Yellow Connor. D. Cook. A. Sarich. G. Morgan. S. Rigney. M. Tadai. And Ms. C. Norris. And uh, written by Dan Stake to give him the last two races on the card. Triple Express. Second home. 11. By Dane Hill Express from three mates, Mark Wright, Stephen Parnham, 10.90 a place. And Midnight Drama, a good run by the filly. Uh, she had to do it the hard way by Patronise from No Man No Fun, 2.40 for the place. Well, a double, but it comes at a cost, and that's more mud-spattered colours as they come back here. At least uh, Diamond Dan's got something to smile about there after... Uh, Topping the backwash of plenty kickback there aboard the winner in Take It Like a Man. Let's go downstairs and take it away, Adam McGrath. Yeah, different uh, approach here by trainer Nick Cox. You were just talking about uh, off air there. I'll let you tell us. Uh, what's his horse done since last start? I, I put him in the paddock. I, I sacked him last week and I couldn't. I was, if I had a good, been able to get rid of him before today, I would have. But I couldn't. So I, I entered him on the hope that I'd get a wet track and, you know, he's just... I've been waiting four years for a wet track with this horse and he finally got one. I know you're an honest man because I asked you last time, I said, oh, could this be the start? And you said, well, if it doesn't win now, he, he's gone. He cannot, you know, keep going like this. And you did put him to the panic. What a result. Uh, still did a little bit wrong out in front, but as you said, just an absolute swimmer. Yeah, look, he's by four play. He's probably the best wet track staying in Australia. And we just haven't got a wet track. And he's had knee and feet problems his whole life. He started his career pretty promisingly. So he's just been a complete... Um, you know, it's almost, I thought his days had passed him by, so it was, you know, good result. I guess he's got to stay now as well, mate. Well, we might send him to Melbourne, I think, because he don't get enough wet tracks here, so. Jumps horse? I think he'll make a beautiful jumper, yeah, yeah. Well done, mate. It's uh, paid off the result there as well, and a nice way to finish the day. Yeah, it was good, thanks. There's Nick Cox, uh, trainer of Take It Like a Man. Maybe his last run, heading across to Melbourne for some jumps, but a very nice result for him, and also for jockey Dan Stank, who finishes the day in style.